Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can download and install open source version of Qt Creator IDE on your Windows operating system. So let's get started. First of all, open your favorite browser and search for Qt Creator. And the first link which will appear here will be from qt.io slash IDE. Just click this uh, link and now you can see the Qt website and then you can see this green button which says start for free. So you can click this button and we will go to the qt.io slash downloads uh, section here. Now there are three versions of Qt available. First is commercial uh, version which is for commercial deployment. Second is in-house deployment or private version or student use. And third is open source distribution under LGPL. And this open source version we are going to install and we are going to just learn from it. So we just want to uh, install the open source version. We don't want to publish any, uh, you know, commercial uh, application or private application, right? So just choose uh, this open source version and then uh, you will see this option which says are you prepared to make your application source code publicly available which is yes and then you just need to answer this question that are you able to comply with the obligations of LGPL and we need to say yes okay now we can start so just click get started and now you can see uh, these uh, links for downloading your uh, Qt Creator on your Windows operating system. So you just need to click this download uh, now button and then save this executable file. Now it can take a few seconds, I think 10 to 20 seconds because it's not a big file. It's about 16.3 MB file so it will be downloaded faster. And once it's downloaded, you just need to start installing. So double click or click on your executable file and minimize your browser. And you can see the Qt startup or setup has been started. And you just need to click next. And in here, you need to, uh, you know, create your Qt account if you ha don't have any. Otherwise, if you have a Qt account, then you just need to log in with your username and password right so after giving your email id and password you just need to click next but keep in mind the password must have at least seven uh, characters and one uh, number and one special character right and then click next and then uh, it says welcome to open source qt setup click next and once again, uh, you can see the installation folder for Qt. So let it be uh, as default. You don't, don't need to change it. You just need to uh, click next once again. And these are the components uh, which will be installed by uh, this installer, which is the latest version of Qt, which is 5.5 and the previous version, which is uh, Qt 5.4 and the other tools and the extra tools okay now uh, you can just click next and this is the license terms and condition which you can read and abide with and then click i have read the agreement and then you can click next and in here uh, it says you want to uh, create a start menu shortcut you can say yes and click next and then you are ready to install so just click install and click yes now this process is going to take a little bit longer time because it's going to download all the components and then it's going to deploy them and install them so you can just leave it uh, as it is and uh, go for a walk or you can do your small works while uh, this is installing and once this uh, progress bar reaches 100 then we are going to you know start our qt creator 
So our installation of Qt with Qt Creator is complete and we are at the last stage of uh, installation of Qt Creator. So uh, before uh, clicking this finish button, you just need to leave this checkbox checked which is going to launch your Qt Creator. Okay, so just click finish now and it's going to launch our Qt Creator IDE. So our Qt Creator IDE has been launched. Now you can uh, maximize it. And uh, this Qt Creator IDE comes with the default compiler. You can open your C drive and inside C drive you can see this Qt Creator. And inside this Qt Creator you can go to tools and in here you can see a MinGV compiler is already uh, installed with this Qt Creator. So now we can create our first project you can just click new project from here or you can go to files new project and in here you can choose the kind of project you want to make so for example uh, we want to make uh, some kind of a C++ program you can uh, just go to non Qt project which is uh, going to give you this interface and in here you can choose C++ or C application so I'm going to choose this uh, C++ application and then click choose and in here you need to give the name to your uh, project. So just give test for now and then you can uh, you know check this checkbox so that the default location will be the default location for your project. So I'm going to leave it unchecked because I may change this location uh, later, right? And click next. And in this next step, you can see a uh, different kind of build system here. You can use QMake, CMake, and QBS. So we are going to use QMake for now, but uh, we can also use CMake, which uh, I will tell you maybe in the other video how you can use CMake to build your C++ programs. And click next. And in here, leave everything as a default and click next. And in here, you can see the summary of your project management. Right now, it's none, which is totally fine for us. And we are going to click finish. And this is going to create our first C++ project. And you can see our project name is test here. And we have a source folder. And inside the source folder, we have one file, which is main.cpp. You can uh, make the, these fonts bigger by just pressing the control button and scrolling your mouse forward. And now to build, build this, you just need to go here, build, and then you just need to say build all, which is going to build your application. And in here, you can see the screen uh, progress bar. And if it's green, then your uh, project is built successfully. And to run your application, you just need to click this green button here. Okay, so just click this green button and it will run your application in the terminal. It says hello world, right? If you can uh, change this, you can just say hello QT and save your project, build it once again. And once you see the green light or green progress bar, you can run it and it's going to say hello Qt. So in this way you can download and install open source version of Qt Creator. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please like, comment and subscribe and bye for now.